Rodney Marsh and Dennis Lilly not only shared each other's success, they contributed to it. So many times the scoreboard showed the combination Court Marsh, Bowl Dylan. It was fitting that their careers ended in the same test match with the same number of dismissals, 355. There it goes, and once again, there's a big appeal. He's given him out. Yes, it succeeded for him. A magnificent leg cutter. And the ball pitching just cutting away from Kiamani, finding the outside edge. The same old combination. Court Marsh, Bold Billy. There's the hook and he's out. Yes, well bowled Dennis Lilly, kept it up. He dropped one in short. Good thinking, obviously. They've been talking Marsh and Lilly. And fell for the trap. They were such an important part of those teams through that, uh, through that era. And they were such great mates. They bounced off each other very well. Rod could read Dennis very well and would often goad him along and just give him a little bit of a needle if he needed it. Uh, Dennis didn't need a lot of motivation because he could motivate himself very well, but just on the odd occasions when he, he needed something, Rod was just the bloke to get in his ear and say the right thing, just to get him, his mind ticking over to, to the challenge that Rod was trying to set for him. And he's put it back, he's gone, yes! The leg cutter, Dennis Lurie, what a bowler. Fine delivery. L and M come very close in the off bit. I think whenever we travel together, um, we always seemed to sit next to each other and often there was only the two of us playing from Western Australia for Australia. We spent a hell of a lot of time together uh, and I guess when you do that, you know, you tend to talk a hell of a lot about the game. Um, we talked about each other's game um, and we just got to know each other so well. Um, I think, you know, in the end I knew what Dennis was going to bowl before he did sometimes. Uh, just by his body language walking back to his mark. Uh, and look, that was my job to study my bowlers as well. And uh, when you've got an asset like him, um, you probably spend a lot of time uh, getting to know, you know, the greatest asset any team could have. Lily to suffer as the was. It's worth a shot, yes. 350 wickets to Lily. And Safraz has the distinction of becoming Dennis Lilly's 350th test victim. And he's gone this time. Court Marsh, Bowl Lilly. 350 victims for Marsh. What a nice way to do it. And what a nice gesture by Dennis Lilly. He's already achieved his 350th today. And he ran up the wicket gave Rodney Marsh just a nice pat on the head saying well done mate and a nice edge straight through to Rodney Marsh and into the safe hands and Rodney Marsh he couldn't have asked for a better way to claim his 350th test victim caught off his old mate they both ended up with 355 test wickets and Dennis as a bowler and Marcy uh, dismissals 355 I mean, that that says it all Gone, yes, Phillips at first slip, took a smart pot, and once again, Dennis Lilly strikes again. And that's out. That is out. Rodney Marsh wasn't going to take the risk of letting that go through to Wayne Phillips, and that was a beautiful catch by the Australian keeper and an excellent piece of bowling. The coincidence of us both getting 355 dismissals, that's, that's eerie and scary. Uh, it's just like Australia winning the centenary test by 45 runs. That's scary, you know, considering 100 years before the same thing happened. Uh, amazing stuff, that. And a fine performance by the Australian fast bowlers. Well, that's gone straight up in the air. Rodney Marsh is underneath it. This will be out. Yes, he's gone. Dennis Lilly is struck. A few words from him as Cladier leaves the ground. They thought he had him out a little while ago. A bouncer from Lilly, a hook shot from Cladier. The ball went straight up in the air and an easy one to Marsh. Dennis Silly was, uh, was an amazing cricketer. I, I mean, I always said that he was, uh, he was a captain's dream and he was a batsman's nightmare. Um, because he, he, you not only had to overcome his great ability, but then you had to overcome that iron will that he had. He had enormous determination. There's nothing that he can't do, this man. 
Confident appeal and he's out. Dennis Lilly's fifth wicket. And that's out. And the record for Dennis Lilly, a magnificent cricketer. Congratulations all around. Well played, Dennis Lilly. A magnificent career. 249 test wickets. A magnificent performance. And the Australian players rush to congratulate Dennis Lilly. Now the leading wicket taker for Australia. Dennis Lilly, 249 wickets. And there is the man that he has beaten, Richie Benno. And uh, Richie Benno almost as delighted for Dennis Lilly as Dennis Lilly looks up and waves to Richie Benno and the wave is returned. You can only rate the bowlers that I played with and against and, and he's the best. Simple as that. He's number one. And it's Nick that he's got him. Borders got him. What a great catch by Lynn Border. That was going like a trace of bullets. Great bowling by Dennis Lilly. Lilly again to the night watchman Croft. It's him on the pad. It must be close. He's given him out. He's gone. Out the LBW. Lilly's got another one. They are absolutely loving it. The score three down for ten. The Australians were three for eight. Lilly in to bowl the last ball of the day. He's bowled him. He's bowled him. The last ball of the day. Lilly getting one to nip back. Bowling the inside edge and bowling out for Richards. Well, what a magnificent start for Australia. The West Indies four down for ten. And the crowd absolutely ecstatic. Well, the great man doing it on the last ball of the day, getting rid of the real West Indian danger man. What a magnificent ball. Well pitched up, left back, and Vivian Richards out bowl. Dennis Lilly was uh, the greatest individual that uh, ever bowled to me because he always uh, had this great sort of uh, a sense to never to say die. And it was my sort of a competitor. This is why maybe uh, uh, I picked Dennis, you know, because uh, it's people like that I'd like to have in my team any day. Drake Tibble's got it. That is the record. The wicket-taking test match record. Larry Gomes put Drake Chappell, bowled Dennis Lilly to give Lilly 310 wickets in test match cricket. You know, I'd never seen a better bowler than Dennis Lilly. Um, he was a bowler that just didn't know how to give in. Didn't matter what the wicket was like, he just kept on trying. It's out. Yes, that's it. Corks at second slip, takes the catch, and the great Dennis Lurie departs with four wickets. What a nice way for Dennis Lilly to leave the field in his last international match. Boxing kangaroo flag draped over his shoulder and possibly a tear in his eye. Alan Border epitomised the dogged determination of the Anzac legend. In a record-breaking career, he played the most tests, took the most catches, scored the most runs, and was always there when Australia needed him the most. He had a determination that very few people had, um, and he, he just you just knew he was going to be successful because he, he wanted to be so badly that um, he wasn't going to let anything get in his way. And the fact that he played for, for as long as he did, the fact that he captained Australia for as long as he did was quite incredible because um, you know, having been down that road and experienced it, you, you have got to use by date. I mean, he extended his by about three times and that was quite incredible and I think it says a lot about the determination of, of the bloke. Um, and you know, he was a very, very good player. And what a shot, just wide of the field from there. Tommy drives, and it's through cover. Glorious shot. That's a good stroke. Nice shot. That's four runs. Lawn Bill Border smashed that one miles. Straight over the square leg boundary for a big six. When I look back at my career, I, I, I think it's quite remarkable myself, you know, that I played so many games. To play so many games, you've got to be consistent. So I, I, I was that as a player. Um, I was very uh, relatively injury free. So that was uh, you know, a bit of a godsend, uh, whether it was luck or whatever, I'm, I'm not sure, or management, because I wasn't particularly uh, overly keen on physical fitness side of things. But um, I kept myself in pretty good shape to play the game. So from that point of view, um, 
you know, I, I think I, it's a little bit of luck and, and good management that got me through. Well, he's hit that one very well. Over the top of the infield, it'll reach the boundary. That's the he was the batsman, first of all, that for me held the Australian batting together. He was almost on his own, and it, it's not as if he was a, a, a Greg Chappell, a, a, a beautiful flowing stroke maker. I mean, uh, he was a stodgy sort of player and accumulator of runs, although uh, one of the things that I will never forget about Alan Border is, is, is his cover drive. I think he played the cover drive for a left-hander as well as I've ever seen in my life. Beautifully driven. Whoa, it's cover drive. 